So a pneumatic piston is being used here. And so that means suppose if we are having say we are having a wall or we are having a gate and we are trying to open it and close it. That means we will we will be connecting this with a, in buses and uh, we are having a door and that door will be connected to a piston and we will be opening it and closing it and that mechanism is being discussed here. So we are having a piston here. This is a wall. So wall this is a two by two wall. That when we are representing the wall this is the wall. So I am enlarging it. So there are two sections that means uh, it, there are two sections that means it is having two state and there are four ports. So that means it is a four by two wall. So there are four ports, one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. So actually this is only there are four ports and these ports would be connected in two ways. That is why we call it just a two-state one. So when this part is energized, so these two ports will be connected and these two ports will be connected. When this part is energized, then these two ports will be connected and these two ports will be connected. So these are the two state ones. So here when we are giving the input y1 to this particular side that is this side so here we are having so let us number it 1 2 3 4 so here also 1 2 3 4 actually these ports are same but these are connected in different type in these two states so we are having two states so here this one is connected to a pressure source and this 2 is connected to a vent. When we are giving input to Y1, this particular part will be energized. That is 1 and 3 will be connected. That is the source and 3 will be connected. In 1 already there is source. So source and 3 will be connected. In source it is a pressurized air. So pressurized air from 1 will pass to 3. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4 like this. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 1 to 3 pressurized error will pass and it will come to this portion. That means it will push the piston and piston will move to this uh, right hand side. So when it is reaching uh, this, this end, so at the end there is another switch. That means here we will be keeping a mechanism such that, so just call it as A. At the A, when the piston reaches this side, this will be actuated so let us call this as y2 so y2 will be actuated that means now uh, we will get si uh, signal here sometimes we will be keeping y2 sometimes we will not be giving according to our name so suppose here we are having so first let us look into the ladder diagram and we can explain how it is happening here now we are going to this x1 and x2 be two push push buttons so push button means it will be in on state when only when we are pushing it. So x1 we are giving an input that means we are pushing it. So then this will be closed and we will get an output at y1. Output at y1 means here one will be connected to 3 that means piston will move to right. So now piston will move. So according to the motion of the piston the door will either open or close. Just take that it is opening. So door will open. Now, when X driver pushes X1, X1 will be closed and Y1 will get start. So, Y1, uh, there will be a signal at Y1. That means, when Y1 start, there is a peculiar phenomenon called a latching. So, we can explain that with this diagram. Latching means, when this output starts, we will be having a switch. And it is it acts as relay. That means when it starts, when Y1 starts, this Y this switch will be automatically switched off. This is this process is called a latching. So in latching, when an output we are getting an output, this output will be latched to another key. So automatically, when Y1 starts, this switch will be closed. That is called a latching. That means here when Y1 starts, we are getting the output at Y1. Automatically, this switch will be energized. That means this will be closed. Because here when the driver may push X1 and he will take the hand off. That means at that time X1 will become open. At that time the piston should move. So for that system what we are using is we are using this latching system. 
So first drive will push X1. So then uh, current will pass through this one and Y1 get activated. When Y1 get activated, automatically this switch will be closed. That means if at all driver is taking his hand from this push button, this circuit will remain closed and Y1 will be energized. So when Y1 is energized, automatically the piston will be moving to the right hand side. Now, suppose say that uh, now the door is opened and uh, every person have ended the bus and now he should close the door. So what he will do is, he will switch, he will push another push button switch, X2. So when, when he is pushing X2, here look, X2 and X2, these two are latch pins. That means, when X2 is pushed, this will close and this will open. That means, okay, Y1 is not energized further. Y1 is not energized further, is now this state is closed. Now we do not have this state and uh, the second state that is x2 is energized that is now y2 is energized that is this part will be energized so the connection will be this state that means 4 to 1 and 4 will be connected 2 and 3 will be connected so 1 and 4 means from pressure source water will be flowing through uh, this air will be flowing to this 4 then air will be entering this side that means now the piston will move to left side. So at that time, because of this latching, this circuit remains open. That means uh, now uh, we do not have any output at Y1, but we have output at Y2. Because of Y2, piston will move to left side and now the door will be closed. So this is how you, we use this ladder diagram to extend and retract a pneumatic piston using latches. And this pneumatic system can be used in various application lights, lifting up a vehicle mm. and uh, also opening and closing of a door, etc. Thank you.